in our Sunday school department on Sunday mornings, and he also helped with the um, kickoff of our um, H2K program. Yvonne Ward, or Yvonne as we know about, yes. Yvonne works in our nursery on Sunday mornings. Teresa Ward. Uh, 
Teresa has been an integral part in developing our H2K program we have on Sunday morning. Sarah Ward. Sarah worked in our children's church program and she also works in our H2K program. Rachel Ward. Rachel has worked with our children's church and also our H2K program. Jackie Ward. If you've noticed, I started it, um, with the alphabet and this time I've turned it around. First shall be last and the last shall be first. She has been working in our nursery department on Sunday mornings. With the Ivy, he's not here. We'll recognize him um, when we get over to the Family Life Center. He's working over there. Uh, Brian Sawyer, um, we know he's not here, but he works on Wednesday night with our teenagers. Sarah Sawyer. Sarah works in our H2K program. Hannah Saunders. She worked with our H2K program. Gwen, uh, she's in the nursery, I believe. We'll honor her over there. Um, and brother, um, he's not here, but he has met with our teenagers on Sunday morning. Patrick and Andy. Um, they've worked in our children's church and also our H2K program. Hazeline. Okay, Hazeline, she has been working with our H2K program. Marsha. Okay, she's with um, Emily. Okay, Marsha, she's um, started working with our new class, the German class, helping lead that class. Jared Hobbs. Jared has worked with our H2K program also. Barrett? He's over there. involved in our um, social school department, Wednesday night's department, and also um, Children's Church. William Chapel, he helped with the Children's Church, Barbie Chapel, Sunday mornings and Wednesday nights, and also Children's Church and H2K. Amy Chapel, she's over there, so we honor her over there. Um, Crystal Caskey. Crystal um, is on our DM board and she's also been the um, integral part in developing our H2K program. Christopher Cartwright. He's in the upper room. He's been involved in our H2K program. Will Cartwright. Will was involved with our children's church and also our H2K program. Tandy Cartwright.
Tammy's been involved in our Sunday morning and also on Wednesday night teaching. See, Walter and Robin, they're not here, but they've been involved in uh, Sunday mornings teaching and also Wednesday nights. Miriam? Miriam, we bless you this morning. Very faithful, very faithful. But she is our musician uh, on Wednesday nights. Gabrielle Byron. Or Gab. Or Gabby. Gab uh, has worked with our Children's Church and also our H2K. Ricky. I think Ricky's across the way. get Lily, we've got, I got one more on my list and that's Denise and I believe Denise is in the nursery. Anyone else? 
nice and tiny. Anybody like to sing or dance or anybody got a jug? Okay, let's give them all a big hand. Yeah.
Because he's the great shepherd and we're sheep. Can y'all go, bah? Bah. Yeah. Very good. We are his sheep. And the scripture says the gatekeeper comes, opens the gate for him, and the sheep, that you, recognize his voice and come to him. He calls his own by name and leads them. And you know what the Bible tells us? He gives us a new name. Revelation tells us this. I will give to each one a white stone, and on that stone will be engraved a new name that no one understands except the one who receives it. I'd like the children to go ahead and get up. Uh, Mrs. Cassie, get ready to sing our closing song. Jesus knows your name today. Amen? And if you've accepted him as Savior and Lord in your life, he's written a new name. There's a new name written down in glory. How do you remember that song? Nobody knows that song but me. Oh, thank you. Hey, amen. Don't feel out of the limb here. And you know what? The Bible also says that when he writes that new name, and he writes it on a white stone, he does one more thing with it. He puts it in a special book. It's called the Lamb's Book of Life. And the Bible says that if your name is in that book of life, you will not experience the second death. The second death is where God will judge the world and will send people that don't know him to eternal punishment. I hope today that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I hope today that you can say, you know what, I've got that new name written down in glory and it's mine. Amen. And if you don't, the great thing is you can ask God right now. We're going to sing a song. He knows my name. And you can ask God. Say, God, I know you know my name. I want to know your name. And so we're going to sing. The children are going to sing a song and then we'll close with the word for Why don't you stand and sing along with them. Amen.
that you hear us, Lord God. You're a God who hears. You're a God who sees. And Lord, I know you see everyone here today. And Lord, you see beyond the shell what's on the outside. You see into the heart today, Lord God. You see into the soul. So Lord, I pray for each one here. Lord, I pray that in their soul and their heart, they would have accepted you, Jesus Christ, as their Savior and Lord. And they would have a new name written on a white stone. And their name would be written, written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So they would be passed over and that the second death would not have a hold on them. And if, if they don't, Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, right now, that you would convict them and help them just confess you as Savior and Lord. So they would get that new name. And their name today, October 27, 2013, would be written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. So, Lord, thank you for each one here today. Thank you for all our discipleship ministry helpers and our teachers. Lord, we're so blessed here at this church to have it. Lord, we just we thank you for them. We ask you to bless each one. We thank you for their time. Thank you for their efforts. God, you're truly a wonderful God. Thank you so much that you know us. You know our name. And in Jesus' name I pray. And all God's people said, amen. amen. Thank you very much for coming. If you'll make your way over to the Family Life Center, we'll have our lunch in the end since everything gets ready. I want to thank those who stayed up, got up early this morning to cook the pig. I uh, know it was Johnny, Donnie, Ivy, Harry, Ricky. Those, okay, uh, let's give them a hand. And also thank Amy for helping in the kitchen and Kate can come in and help us and to everybody who made desserts, uh, we thank you and we, uh, we truly enjoyed them. Um, and also, if anybody hadn't paid me for the meal, you can see me afterwards um, if you've got it with you today. Okay, the rest of our presentations for our DM workers, um, we're going to start off with none other than the infamous one of a kind, very unique, Sarah Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do part work, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was getting ready to ask you to stand on your head. <laughs> um, Ivy. Sunday morning, one of our teachers. And Sarah's sidekick in the nursery is Gwen. We're going to, Gwen, we're going to go ahead and give you brothers because he helped in the teenage room. Marshall. Marsha has started in with our new class, the Journey class, as one of the leaders in that uh, group. Barry. Barry's also one of the leaders in the Journey class, and he is on our board. Amen. Amy is involved, um, she was a Sunday school teacher for the little ones, Wednesday nights. She's on the DM board. She also helps with H2K. Johnny. Johnny teaches the Sunday school, um, sanctuary class, Wednesday nights, and uh, he's also on the DM board. Denise? Uh, Denise works in our 
Sunday school, um, also the nursery, and she has helped on the nursery for Wednesday night as well. And there was one more I kind of ugly this morning. Um, it's called my attention. Have to forgive me. Um, but Brenda, she has helped in our nursery, and she's helped in our nursery some as a substitute when I need her. So, Brenda, come on down. this one um, without really giving it away. Um, so I'm going to do something different and it might not work, but if it doesn't, it's okay. Um, so I'm going to ask all the DM workers to stand. If you work in our discipleship ministries department, if you got a, if you're recognized this morning, I need you to stand. Okay, you're going to really have to listen, okay? And we'll try to make it easy, but we'll see how this works. You can, if it doesn't work too well, you can tell me about it later. It's okay. Denise, you need to come on out here so we can see you. Johnny, come away from the wall. <laughs> okay, we're going to use that. We're going to go with a process of elimination this morning, okay? So I'm going to try to make this up as I go along, so bear with me. Um. Uh-oh. Okay, he's fine. He's good. He's good. If your name has four letters in it, you may be seated. If your name is a four-letter name, you may be seated. you got to have four letters, like... Like Gwen, G-W-E-N. That's a full letter name. So if you've got more than four or less than four, you need to stand. Okay. I've drawn a blank. <laughs> I did have several of them in my head. Okay. This will weed out a few. Um... If you are not a female, you may be seated. Okay. All right. So now we got it narrowed down. We know it is a female. Okay. If you... Give me a minute. I'm thinking. I don't make it too easy. <laughs> If you wear, um, if you do not wear glasses, you may be seated. Well, we got a few left. That does include contacts. So if you got to wear contacts, you still need to be standing. If you have blonde hair, you may be seated. <laughs> if you do not have grandchildren, you may be seated. If you do not have grandchildren, all right, so how many is left? <laughs> we got three left. <laughs> well, 
You are, uh, you are wonderful, and uh, we have a nice certificate here for you that you can uh, put on your wall and uh, let everybody know how so wonderful you are that we already know. And we have also a gift, gift certificate for you from Walmart as well, $25, which is your favorite place to go. And then Debbie asked me what should she get her, and I said a Walmart gift card because it's in our marriage contract. we got to live within 20 minutes of a Walmart. So we're all on the edge. We're all on the edge right now. So. And we thank you very much. I'm sure that um, uh, one of the reasons that, that you were chosen was because you you stepped up and you really you helped at a time that needed helping. And I think that uh, with you and Debbie, Debbie and you together, and all the other members of the board, I think you've set a great course for the future uh, for DM and the new pastor coming in. Uh, I think it's just going to be really blessed to have have those the kind of people that we have here on our DM board with forward thinking getting the room fixed upstairs and heading that way. Anyway, it's, it's great. So give yourselves a big hand for all that everybody got. Amen. I just want to read a few of the uh, statements that were made in her nomination, if I'll bear with me for just a moment. Um, well organized. Agree with that, absolutely. Very organized. Um, She's very good about trying to contact the children at home, sending cards or phone calls, um, following up, trying to keep parents informed. That's very important. Always ready, prepared when the children come in. Um, greets them with a beautiful, cheery smile. Hugs. Um, she likes to build relationships with them. Uh, let's see. She enjoys spending time with them and she enjoys playing with them. I've seen her playing four square. I think one day she, she might have slipped or tripped and failed playing four square and the kids got a laugh out of that. But um, was taking them bowling and took them by laser tag and she was right there in the middle of it. Um, um, participating and kind of getting down on their level which is very important. And also, um, she has been a, a very important part with getting our H2K. Matter of fact, um, I give her credit for that. Um, she came to me one, one night and was telling me what the Lord had spoken, working her up and spoken to her um, for Happy Home for our youth. Um, so we've tried to walk in that with Crystal. And um, she's also was um, the one who 
organize the journey class, um, which is very important. Um, that's been going really well. I remember when Sunday they had 22, I believe, or something like that. I think the numbers are down a little bit today, but that class is really, uh, the numbers have really been um, very high in the attendance there. And we got a couple other things we're um, working towards, kind of doing some things in some phases where the Lord has shown her. Um, so we will be um, doing some new things with our youth uh, that will be upcoming. Looking forward to getting the upstairs completed so we can move forward. Um, and just some great ideas for what the Lord, uh, you know, Lord's got a lot in store. We need to invest in our youth, all ages of our youth. Um, they're very important, and we do need to invest in them, not just um, by participating in our time, our prayers, our, um, our finances. We need to be investing into building um, with our youth there. And congratulations, Crystal. It was well-deserved. Um, and enjoy your, your gift card. If you get a chance, uh, go to Crystal and give her a hug and tell her how much you appreciate her and what she did, has done so far. And uh, we just ask God to bless her in the future, wherever that may be. And is there anything else? Yeah. No, stop trying to be. We finished? I'm finished. Is there anything else? And we need a clean up crew so all of you can stay and clean up. Um, thank you very much. And... That's it.